Hi, it's me, Sabrina, and I'm so glad you made it. This is the secret classroom, where the whole world around us is a gigantic classroom, just waiting for us to come and explore it. And today, we're growing on an adventure. Have you ever watered a flower and watched it grow? Plants don't grow right before our eyes. They grow slowly. But it's fun to check on them and water them some more and see them grow and grow and grow some more. It's like I'm rooting for you, little guy. Come on, you can do it. You can grow as big, as big as you can. Hi, everyone. Do you know where I am? Look around. Do you see that there's dirt and green leafy plants growing out of the dirt? Now I know this may look a little different than what you think about when you think of a garden, but I'm in a garden. Gardens don't only grow out of the ground, but with soil and water, plants can grow out of planter boxes just like the ones you see here. And you might be surprised to know that I'm at an elementary school. This is Rogers Elementary School, and each year students and teachers and even people from the community come and plant and take care of this garden. Huh, I wonder how many plants they have planted here. I'm gonna go find a friend to tell us all about it, and I'll see you back here in just a little bit. Howdy, guys. We are gonna be talking about plants. We see plants all around us. You see plants when you go on walks when you're with your family. You see plants on the playground at recess. You see plants when you are driving down the street, right? Sometimes there are plants that are wildflowers. They grow naturally and you just see them all around. And sometimes plants are planted with purpose by people like in your garden. We are going to do some planting today, but before we plant, Let's talk about things that plants need. Do you know what plants need so that they can grow? They need the sun, right? That bright sunlight helps give the plants energy so that they can grow. Plants also need water. Without water, they'll shrivel up and die. We don't want that. Plants can get water from the rain, or you might water them with a hose or a cup or a watering can. Plants also need air. We've got air all around us. We need air so that we can breathe, and plants need air too. Now, plants need something that we don't need. Soil. Do you know what soil is? Soil is a fancy name for dirt. They also need space or somewhere to grow. You might see plants in a flowering pot or in a flower bed or even growing out of the crack on a sidewalk. But all plants need space to grow. All right, I have some flowers here and I need to give them some more space to grow. They have a container, but they won't live in there long. So let's give them some more space. What other things do we need to help the plant grow? Well, we need a space. So I have a can here that we are gonna use to help hold one of the flowers. And I know that we need water. Should I just pour all the water in? No, that would be a terrible idea. Hmm. I'm gonna use these rocks to put at the bottom of my can because it doesn't have a hole in the bottom. And after I water it, I don't want too much water for the flower or it will die. So I'm going to put these rocks, that makes a fun sound, to help aggregate the plant. And when the water goes down, it can sink down and any extra can just be with those rocks. All right, we have space. 
Let's add the dirt. Do you remember the fancy name for dirt? Soil. All right, I have a bag of some potting soil and I'm gonna use this special tool. It's called a spade or a shovel. And I'm gonna use it to put soil in the can. All right, we can always add more. I'm gonna start with just this amount because there is also some soil already with my flower. All right, there are four flowers here. Wonder which one. Let's give this one some new home. I see it even has some little buds and it will be growing and blossoming soon. All right, let's see here. Push from the bottom and pull gently on the stem. Whoa, look at that. There's more soil and what are these little stringy things? Those are the flower's roots. The roots help suck up the water from the soil, just like you would do with a straw. All right, now, if I just set it in, that doesn't look right. So I think I'm gonna move the soil. Maybe I can set my flower down here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. We'll make it a little bit muddy. You won't tell if we get too messy, will you? I thought it was a worm. It's just a rock. Okay. Okay, now let's see how the flower will fit. All right, let's slide it in and it looks like it's about even with the top. Let's add some more soil around it. I think we're gonna get messy. Have you ever done gardening? It can get a little messy. Scoop a little more, put it in, make a lot of a mess. All right. I think that looks okay. All right, so we've got our space, we've got our soil, we've got our flower, freshly planted, air, we've got air in the secret classroom, Hmm, oh, maybe add a little bit of water. Not too much, just enough to keep the soil moist. There's no rain in the secret classroom, so we will just water it here. Hmm, what else does the flower need to live? It needs sunlight. So there's not a sun here in our secret classroom, so I better go put it by a window so that it can continue to grow. Maybe you and your family can grow some plants. I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see what you make. Bye. When you're working in a garden, you need some special tools. Have you ever seen one of these before? It kind of looks like something you could serve pie with or cake. This is called a trowel and it helps us dig deep into the dirt. And this is a hand rake. It helps move the dirt around. And this is a watering can. It's really handy for watering plants. Now, let's go see what fun we can dig up. Hey everybody, welcome back. I found the principal here at Rogers Elementary School. This is Miss Hoosman, and she's gonna tell us all the things they do to take care of their garden. Hi, welcome to our garden. We have more than 50 different kinds of plants and vegetables growing in our garden. We have everything you'd see at the grocery store from lettuce and onions, tomatoes, peppers. We have carrots and even strawberries in our garden. If you come to school here, you help us take care of this, and then when all the vegetables are grown, you get to take them home and enjoy them with your family. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. Do you think we could see some of those? Absolutely, let's go look. All right. Hi, friends. I'm Mrs. Garcia, and welcome to The Secret Classroom. I have my friends here with me today, and today we're going to be looking at some plant words. I have them right up here for us to look at. Oh, my goodness. Someone took all of our words and they broke them into two pieces. What are we gonna do? Got any ideas? Put them back together. Maybe we could put them back together. But you know what? 
I think this sounds like a job for a detective. So you guys wait right here, and all you friends at home, stay right where you are. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go look for a detective. Huh. Detective! Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah! I've always wanted to be a detective. I guess anything can happen in the secret classroom. Well, let's get these words put back together. Now, when you have a problem like this, you need to think of the problem and figure out a solution. Someone took our words and they broke them in two. If we find both pieces, that will give us a clue. Then we'll blend them back together. That's what we got to do. And all of our words will be just like new. Wow, I'm a singing detective. That is so cool. All right, so you're going to help me blend these words back together. I'm going to show you two picture pieces. I'll give you two parts of the words. And it's your job to be a good listener Remember the sounds and then blend the words back together, okay? Friends at home, we need your help too. We need all the help we can get. All right, let's get started. Our first word is, l if. If we put the sounds l if together, what word does that make? Leave. Yay, good job! Let's do another one. What about er O's? What word is that? Rose. Rose. Ooh, I love roses. They smell so good. Do you like roses, Zena? All right, let's keep blending. What about ter E? Tree, tree. tree, good job. Kiss your brains. You guys are good blenders. This is going to be a piece of cake. Let's keep going. What about B bush. bush? Bush. Bush. Ooh, I have a bush out in, in my front yard. All right, how about this word? B in. Bean. Good job blending. I told you the two sounds and you put our word back together. All right, let's see. Ooh, this one's going to be tricky. I hope you can get it. Brr, anch. Branch. You got it, friends. That's a branch. It's like the arm on a tree and it has leaves growing off of it. Let's keep going. Ooh, I love this vegetable. Some yummy corn. 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 Good job. All right. We're blending some words. Ooh, this one looks dangerous. What about the orn? Thorn. Archer, what's a thorn? A thorn is something or on a thorn bush. Yes. And what does it do to you if you touch it? It spikes you. It'll poke you, so you got to be careful around thorns. And you may be bleeding. Yes, always be careful. You can even find a thorn on a rose bush. All right, let's keep going, friends. We're almost done. We've got l lime. Lime. Lime, good job. Lime is a green type of fruit. And is it sweet or sour? Sour. Sour, yeah. All right, what about, ooh, this one's going to be tricky. V vine. 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 A vine is a long, stretched out plant, and sometimes grapes grow on a vine. Pretty cool. All right. Ooh, every plant needs this to grow. D dirt. 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 And what's the fancy word for dirt? Soil. Soil. Good job. Okay, we're down to our last two words. I'm not sure I know what this one is. Squa ash. Squash. Squash. Oh yeah. When I was a little girl, my mom used to make me squash. Now I remember. Okay, I can't believe we made it to our last word. This one's gonna be tricky. Spur 
Sprout. 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 Hey, Zoya, what's a sprout? Um, it's so first it starts out as a seed and then it grows and then it turns into a sprout. That's right. A seed that looks like this grows a little bit into a baby plant called a sprout. Good job. Look at that, friends. We blended all of our words back together. And now here's the tricky part. I'm going to point to each word and see if you remember the name. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do this. What is that? Bush. A bush. What about that one? Tree. Good job. What about that? Rose. Ooh, I love the smell of roses. What about that? Leaf. Good job. What is that? Bean. Good job. What is the arm of a tree called? Branch. Branch. You got it, Zoya. A yummy yellow vegetable. Corn. Corn. Something that pokes you. Thorn. 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 A baby plant. Sprout. sprout. A sprout. sprout. A long stretched out plant. Vine. 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 Good job, Ashlyn. A super sour lemon. fruit. Lemon. Not lemon, lemon but lime. lime. And what do all plants need to grow? Soil. Soil. And what did my mom Squash. make me? Squash. Squash. Good job. You guys are amazing blenders. Give me a whoop whoop. Thank you so much for helping me take the two sounds and blend them back together. Thank you, friends at home, for all your help as well. Well, I better get out of here. I'm Mrs. Garcia. I mean, Detective Garcia. And I'll see you guys next time on The Secret Classroom. It's so cool that some kinds of plants even grow into the food we eat. Imagine a seed becoming a giant watermelon. Think about it. When we go to the grocery store and pick out food for a salad, like lettuce, it was once just a tiny little seed. Oh gosh, I wonder how we can tell when plants are ready to eat. Wow, look at all these tall, green, leafy plants. They're so soft, what are these? These are carrots, and actually the tall, leafy part makes you think that they're ready, but they're not quite ready. The taller the leaf, the better the carrot is underneath. Let's pick one and see what it looks like. Oh. Wow, yeah, these carrots are pesticide free as is everything in the garden. That means we don't use any bug spray and anybody can eat anything. That's so awesome. Do you think we could go see something else? Absolutely, come on. Okay. Are you playing some tricks on me? I see all these green leafy plants, but I don't see any fruit. What are these? These are our strawberries. The green leafy plants protect the fruit itself from getting eaten by the birds, so students can take them home to eat them with their family. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. Thank you so much for telling us all about your gardens today. It's been so much fun, and I know your kids must love it. Hey, guys, hop back into the secret classroom, and I'll catch you in just a little bit. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my class. It's Mr. Miller again, and oh, do I have a surprise for you today. You know, it's often known that birds eat seeds, cows eat grass, and as humans, we eat plants too. You're wondering, oh my gosh, Mr. Miller just said I should eat a sunflower or I should eat a rose. No, silly, but we do eat plants. You see, as human beings, we need plants and we need animals to survive. The sources of energy found in nutritious plants are actually going to be extremely nutritious for us. I'll show you. Here, we actually eat leaves. No, not the leaves that fall from the trees, but we do eat romaine lettuce. And when you're making a salad, you actually need to have plenty of these leafy greens. Trust me, my doctor always reminds me that every appointment I have. So when making a salad, you wanna kinda rip up these leaves so they're actually digestible. But the leaves are very delicious. And as you see, there may be some moisture because you should always wash your leaves or your lettuce before you do anything with it. Next, I want you to know that we actually eat stems. I mean celery stems. I like to add a few of these to my salad, though not very much. I don't really like celery unless I'm eating it with peanut butter. Nevertheless, we do eat stems. They're quite, quite good for us. 
And when they're seasoned with the salad dressing of your choice, it makes for a delicious snack. We also eat bulbs. No, not light bulbs. The bulb that I'm referring to is like a yellow onion bulb. There are many different plants. It is very interesting to see what is grown in our gardens, found in our grocery stores, and then comes into our plates. So I have these onions, another form of a plant. Wait a minute. I think we actually do eat flowers. No, not roses or sunflowers, but we do eat flowers. You see the florets that come in broccoli. We can add those to our salad. It makes it extremely delicious. Next to carrots, broccoli seems to be my favorite vegetable or plant to eat. Once you have it all in your mixing bowl, you wanna take the time to mix it all up. You can even give it a little shake. I don't have any salt, pepper, or salad dressing in front of me, but salads are usually best with a vinaigrette. You'll learn more about that later. When you've mixed all of your plants or vegetables up, you then have a delicious, nutritious snack to eat as soon as you come home from playtime or home from school. Okay, now that we've got our salad made, let's talk about a few things. Remember, we first added leaves, and that came in the form of our romaine lettuce. We also added the bulbs or the onions. We would be remiss if we did not talk about adding the stems or, you know, the celery, but we also had to have the florets or our flowers in the form of the broccoli. You see, Anytime that you think about having a meal, it's important to think about the, how nutritious it is to you. If I were to add a chicken to this or steak, I would then have protein, which could actually add that extra nutritional element needed for me to survive. I want you to know that you can find all of this produce at your local grocery store. So next time you go to the store with your parents, just tell them, I need greens, please. And they will sure appreciate that. You're making a good choice. And it's one that benefits the farmers who help to provide the produce that is in our grocery stores. And it comes from farm to table. You have the extra benefit of knowing that you're being very health conscious and you will sure appreciate that when you're my age because the more greens you eat, the healthier you are. And the plants that are the source of food for us actually serve benefits that will outlast anything else that you consume. So thank you very much for visiting my class today. Make sure that you ask your parents for permission to go to your next grocery store visit and make sure that you have the greens. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hey friends, I had so much fun being out here at Rogers learning about their garden, and I hope you did too. I learned so much today, like that the leaves have to be big and, and cover the strawberries so that the predators like birds can't get them, that the taller the bushes on the carrots, the bigger the carrot's gonna be when you pull it, and Miss Hoosman even showed me her lettuce garden. You know, this has made me wanna start my own garden. Maybe you could too at your house. And since Miss Hoosman showed me all this lettuce, I'm gonna pick a few of these leaves and go home and make my own salad. See you guys next time. I've been thinking. We have a lot in common with plants. We need plants for food because food helps us grow. But we're also kind of like plants. We were once tiny too. But with food and water and sunshine, look how we've grown. Hey, what did the baby corn say to the mother corn? Where's popcorn? <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today in the secret classroom. It's time for me to make like a tree and leave. See you later.
Cinda. Today's pro tip is how to be brave on the first day of school. We all know things can be hard and scary, so here's some things that can help. Number one, ask your mom and dad to give you positive words to think about throughout the day. And if you do get sad, think about these words. And number two, the funnest part is meeting new people. So make as many new friends as you can. Remember, you are made with bravery, courage, and awesomeness. So go out and have the best school year ever. I'm Cinda, and that's all for this pro tip. Uh, you got any good jokes? Yeah. Tell me. What does the cactus say to other cactus? What? You're looking sharp. <laughs> what do y'all have playing with this song? Um, that thing. Well, we, we planted uh, flowers. You planted flowers this summer? Yeah, and they're in our house. Oh, cool. So ants don't crawl on it. <laughs> Do you like plants? Yes. What's your favorite? Rose. Rose? What color rose? Um, white roses. Um, I have, you, what's your favorite plant? The earth. <laughs> <laughs> favorite planet? Yes. What's your favorite plant? Do you have a favorite plant or nope. flower? Uh, roses. You like roses? Are y'all the youngest in your family? Uh, no. No, a little brother. You have a little brother. He's crazy. How's <laughs> he crazy? Really crazy. <laughs> he bangs on stuff. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Anything else? No. <laughs> hey parents, a new school year is just around the corner and that means it's time to get back to the basics of going back to school. So whether you're a new pre-K or kindergarten family, or if you have a returning student, here's a quick rundown of what you need to know. Okay, registration for the new year begins July 19th through Skyward. Just log on and click your way through registration. If you don't do this, none of this other stuff matters, so make sure you register. If you're new to AISD, Skyward is your hub for everything involving school and your child. If you have never used it before and you still have no idea what I'm talking about, just go to the district website forward slash new. Now, if you have a pre-K or kindergarten student and you've never gone through registration before, we've created a special page to help simplify the process, complete with a list of everything you will need. And through all of this, if you have any problems, just call your home campus and ask for some assistance. Is it two pencils and 10 glue sticks? or two glue sticks and 10 pencils. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Go to amaisd.org forward slash supplies. We've got a list for each school through the entire district all in one place. Tuesday, August 17th is the first day of school for Amarillo ISD. A complete bell schedule with your campus will be found on your school's website by the end of the month. All right, last one. Breakfast and lunch are provided every school day. Start strong, stay strong all day long with our healthy and tasty cafeteria options. That's it. Those are the basics of back to school. But there's really one more important thing that we still need to tell you. We can't wait to be back with all of our students and families. It's gonna be a great year.